Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth video in the devlog series. In today's video we'll be changing the level layout, we'll be adding new props and much more. Before I begin with today's video I want to announce that we have officially reached 700 subscribers. I want to thank all of you for that. Now let's try and reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the year. If we can reach that, a special video will be coming out. Also click the notification bells if you want to get notified for whenever I upload a video. Without ado, let's begin with today's video. The first thing that I did this week was to start working on the second level for the game, which is also in the fact. I plan on changing the level layout drastically for this level, because I want all of the levels to feel and look different from each other. Here's some footage of me working on the level. After I worked on the second level, I added new props for the game. There are two new props. The first prop is a jerry can. The second prop is a simple crate. I added these props because I wanted to add new smaller props for the second level. By the way, this doesn't mean that in every new level I will be adding new props. It will depend on the level layout. I will also probably add new guns in the next devlog, so be aware of that. After I added the two new props, I got feedback from my friends to change the bottle that I made in Unity. Now the model is way bigger and it's attached to the walls with tubes. In my opinion, the design fits way better and it actually looks more like a factory now, which is also pretty nice. They also s said that I should change the level size, because the levels were way too big. I also agree with this decision, that's why I changed the size of the levels. Now the levels are way smaller. I made them smaller so that you wouldn't have to walk a lot, and also for the enemies to follow you easier since the levels are way smaller now. I also did this for the second level. But I didn't change the size of the first room in the first level so that you can walk more freely since it's the first time that you will play the game. After I changed the size of the levels, I added weapon bobbing into the game for the, when the player moves. This change wasn't that necessary but I still added it because it makes the game feel and look way more immersive and realistic. Because before this change, when you were moving, it felt like you were just flying across the map. After I added the weapon bobbing for when you move, I added blood particle effects for when the enemy dies. Here's some footage of the particles. As you can see the particles are still very basic, but at least they work fine. I will change them in the future so they can look more realistic and better. I will also probably add a death animation for the player in the future so that it looks more immersive. The final thing that I added this week was an animation for when you enter a new level. Here's some footage of that. Before I end the video, I want to announce that I have my own Discord server. On the server, you can talk about game dev, about my channel, and much more. The invites to the server will be in the description and in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching the fourth video in the devlog series for my upcoming 3D game called Venus. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe because that helps me a lot. Plus, we are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Stay tuned for more uploads and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.